Hey guys, Alien Phantom here, and it's the third season pass of Feral, which means another season pass video, and expected to be long. I'm expecting to sit here for over six hours, just so I can go and tell you guys what's all in the season pass, and I didn't look through it super well for the sheer fact that I just tried to get it done as fast as physically possible. And I did, because the day that it came out, or I guess it was technically the day after, I, no, I think it was the day of, I had gotten, um, every single, uh, thing done to the new animal, and then I just stopped playing, and then yesterday, I went on and got, like, what, 75 levels all in one day, I just played this game pretty much non-stop, all day long. Smashing my head against a keyboard because things would not come to me. <laughs> but thankfully, unlike the first season pass, but like the second season pass, they have given you enough things to do that even once you start to get to the harder stuff, you can still skip certain things and finish the season pass, which I'm so glad they did. Because the first season pass was kind of painful to get through, especially if you needed the kimono bow or the uh, kimono cape. So, thank goodness we don't have a situation like that again. And from what I did look through of the season pass, unlike the second one, which to me felt kind of lazy since there was, what, a total of like three different items that were literal exact replicas of other items. And I don't think that was in the season pass. I There's items that I think were sim similar, but they weren't quite the same. And like, they clearly were made with a different model. And there's one particular item that I have to laugh at because the image on the season pass looks nothing like how the item actually looks. So, We'll get to that. So, the first thing to take in note is that they changed how the season passes, so when you click on it, it brings you straight to your, uh, things that you need to do, instead of showing you what you have completed. And as you can see, I am tier 100, so I went through all the painstaking work and literally I pretty much got through everything in the entire time of one whole day. If you include the, like, 25 levels, I think it was, that it took me just to get the animal. So, let's just get right into it. For Tier 1, you'll get 500 likes, and this is also part of the free pass. Tier 2, you get 10 Shadow Grey dies, and this is also part of the free pass. This is what the Shadow Grey die looks like. For Tier 3, you get the Silver Bell Scarf. I'm gonna butcher this. But Jingli, Javul, and Jablentli Jonskiel. Pretty sure that's not how you say 90% of that. I'm pretty sure the only word that I said correctly was jingly. <laughs> anyway, let's see what this looks like on all the animals. This is what the Silver Barrel Scar looks like on the dragon. The Crin. The Kitsune, the Senri, and the Werewolf. For Tier 4, you get the Frozen Tree. Those are some sturdy, weight-bearing branches. Um, one thing that I would like to say is that when it comes to these tree items, and pretty much any house item that 
when you would see it at a house, you would hope to have more than one. Like, if I had a frozen tree around my house, I would want more than one frozen tree because just having one frozen tree looks off. And I really wish when it came to items like this, they would turn them into enigmas rather than having some of the items that they do have as enigmas as, en as enigmas. And the only reason why is because it's just weird to have one frozen tree and only one frozen tree. The only way you're going to get another one is if you either make a second account and pay for the season pass again, or you go around and harass people to try and get a frozen tree off of them. The frozen tree looks like this. It's a pretty decent size. Not too big. I feel like my werewolf would probably uh, be bigger than it, but it is nice that you can jump on it and be inside of the tree. Especially if you're a little tiny senri kitten, then you can be trapped in a tree. <laughs> but yeah, that's the frozen tree. For tier 5, you get three lockpicks, and they are part of the free pass. For tier 6, you get the Meyerfolk Tarot Staff, a staff inherently connected to nature and its vital energies. This is how the Meyer Staff looks on the dragon. As you can see, it does clip a bit with the jackalope wings, but I also have the wings as big as they can get, so maybe if they're smaller, it won't clip. I feel like this goes really well with this look. I feel like the only down part about this staff is that the wings will hide it if you have wings. For tier 7, you get the Snowcap Enigma. The Snowcap Enigma gives you the Snowbolt Hat. Real snowbolts may melt on a sunny day, but Snowbolt Hats are forever. And this is what the Snowbolt Hat looks like. For tier 8, you get the pinwheel hat. Few people can rock a party pinwheel, but you are one of those rare revelers. This is what it looks like on the dragon. For tier 9, you get the sled, a winter's classic, perfect for accelerating races down hills and subsequent related injuries. This is what the sled looks like. It's not very big, so I don't see a lot of the newer animals being able to fit on it unless if you shrink them down. But for the jackalope, it's perfect size, at least for my extremely large jackalope. I do want to point out that my jackalope I do have as big as it can get. So, other jackalopes can definitely look very tiny compared to this, but I don't see a fully sized werewolf fitting on this at all. Actually, I have a fully sized werewolf. Let's see if it will fit. You know what? It doesn't look too bad. It kind of looks like the werewolf is holding on to it. Just gotta inch it a little forward. Little 
No, oh, that's that's to the side. I got this. A little, a little more. You know, you get the point. It's not too bad, even for the one of the biggest creatures in the game, so it's probably fine for all the others. Especially since it looks like the werewolf's just holding one to it like they would. For tier 10, you get the treat party plate. You could share, but who says you have to? And that is part of the free pass. As you can see, like some of the other desserts, it does go on the tail. And there is a little cake thing, a muffin, and a cookie. For tier 11, you get the Caroler's Lantern. This lantern not only lights the way in the snow, but helps keep Carolers in tune. Just tap the glass to get a clear starting note. This is how it looks on the dragon. I do want to say that I believe this is the exact same model as the lantern that you need in Blood Tundra. Because there's a lantern that you have to, like, take a selfie and do some emotes next to in Blood Tundra. And I believe it looks the exact same as this. For tier 12, you get three lockpicks, and it is part of the free pass. Which, if you get these from the uh, pass, it also counts towards any quest that you have where you have to obtain lockpicks. For tier 13, you get the noble snow sculpture. Head held high and steady, like a sphinx in repose. Oh no, I did a thing. Help. <laughs> huh. Oh, I'm back. Okay, I just... That just sent me into the basement. That is so weird. Oh. Well. As you can see, this is the snow sculpture. Wait, I don't... I don't have a basement. That's fine. Um... You know, it does mention Sphinx, and when I originally saw this, with the horn, I instantly thought that it was the, um, the Kryn. But looking at it now, and being able to, like, see it better since the ones that are in City Pharaoh are huge, I realized that none of the Kryn's horns look like this. And also, none of the Kryn's faces have this, like, extreme slope-down point. Like, they're slope-down faces of the Kryn, but they don't look like this. And the only Kryn head that has, like, big fluff all around it like this does, is the one that looks like a goat. So I'm thinking that this might be a sneak peek of next season Pass's animal. And it says Sphinx. So, I'm just going to call it now and say that the next uh, Season Pass animal is a Sphinx. This is just my guess, just from this one item. Because it wouldn't be too unusual for Season Passes to have items 
that kind of like hint towards the next season passes items because it's happened. I can't think of any good uh, examples right now, but I do recall that it's happened. So I'm thinking the next animal's a sphinx. That's just my thoughts. I don't know if anyone else has also come to this conclusion because it's clearly a spark. Hence the spark is right there. And also the fact that there's two little gems right there like all the sparks have on their ears, unlike all the other creatures in the game that don't have those diamonds on their ears. So I'm thinking this is a sphinx. So I'm kind of really excited for that. And if not a sphinx, then maybe we're finally getting our griffins that I've been talking about. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned the griffins in other season passes. Because they showed that we were going to get them, and then we never got griffins, and then instead the Kitsune's got bird heads and wings, and it was kind of like, oh, now we have griffins. But maybe next season pass we get actual griffins and not fox griffins. We'll see. But yeah, this is extremely tiny compared to the uh, ones in City Pharaoh. And you, I do believe we get both. So... We'll, we'll, we'll compare the two then. On to the next thing. For tier 14, you get Blood Tundra common ingredients. You get 900 of these, and I believe it was... Oh yeah, here's the list of them, and you get 50 of each common ingredient. It's actually nice that they have this. I don't know if they had this during the last season pass, but I noticed that items have had this question mark at the bottom of them when they are in a full pack together, and if you click on that, you'll see everything that you have gotten from that item. I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but this is part of the free season pass. At tier 15, you get the Snowball Anklet. Careful how long you wear this, it tends to freeze onto leg fur. This is how it looks on the animals, and as you see, you only get one on one of the legs. For tier 16, we have folded towels, neatly stacked to await wet paws. This is what they look like. I do love the like frosted detail they added to them. They don't look that great close up, they look very pixely close up, but they're still really nice looking. For tier 17, you get the Lug Enigma. That enigma gives you the strap toboggan. Be ready to ride the next time you see the perfect snow-covered hill. So this is what the toboggan looks like on your animals. And I do want to point out, unlike other season passes, this season pass, all of the enigmas are specifically only clothes items. At tier 18, you get the Heat Lanterns. Extremities like the tail lose body heat fast. Answer? A wreath of jars filled with enchanted ever-burning flames. This is how they appear on the animals.
Now let's do a quick test to see if that flame can change color. Probably shouldn't have picked orange for the other color. And yep, it looks like it. You can change the color of the flame to whatever you want it to be. Always one of the little added benefits of having flaming items that have color changing. It makes them so much more worthwhile getting. For tier 19, you get the frosty bag. There's a 90% chance that this satchel belonged to someone lost on an ill-advised mountain climb. This is how the bag appears on all the animals. For tier 20, you get the lake root common ingredients, and you get 900 of them, which ends up equaling out to being 50 of each ingredient. And these are the list of the ingredients. Sadly, however, unlike last season pass, this one is not free. To where last season pass, all three of the common ingredient bundles were part of this free season pass. For tier 21, however, there is a new free season pass item, and it's an actual item rather than ingredients. And it is the potted plant. When this plant leaves fall off, they don't fly away. Instead, they change colors and float in the center, adding to its beauty. Okay, good. That time it didn't send me tumbling into, uh, nowhere. I kind of wish the, uh, floating parts would move a little bit but it's still a very nice little piece. And I don't know about you, but it really reminds me of those uh, Blood Tundra... I don't really know what they are, but they're just these little totem things that look like plant fire stuff. For tier 22, you get three lockpicks. This is not part of the free pass, so you just get three lockpicks. For tier 23, you get the Thermal Enigma. That enigma gives you the Cozy Winter Cloak. Plush Velvet lends extra drama to this fashionable tailcoat. This is how this item appears on all the creatures. And this is a tail item. The first time that I saw it, I thought it was for the back. And then I was shocked when I put it on and realized it's actually for the tail. For tier 42, you get the Kryn, one of the newest creatures added to the game. Unlock the form of the Kryn. To protect what is good and honorable is life's most imperative calling. This is what the default Kryn looks like. I did change the colors and there is some extra detail added on from what I added, but this is what the default one looks like. Some sizes are a bit mixed up. And let me show you all the emotes for the crin. Let's go with the yawn first. Gives a nice little stretch and a yawn. And then the sleep. Now of course, just like the other animals when they sleep, their eyes are still open. But it's not that big of a deal. Let's 
Wake him up with a little yawn. I should have done the sleep first, actually, now that I think about it. Then there is the sit. It's a very, very nice and noble sit, I think. Then there is the mad. Nice little bucking action. The happy, which is a little... Well, actually, that's the excite. Just a happy little gallop around. Then the sad. Oh my gosh, I didn't notice this before. The hair actually droops when it's sad. Oh. And it just shakes it back out and it goes back to flowing in the wind. That is the one thing that I love about this head in particular. It's that beautiful, beautiful mane that just flops in the wind. Then there is the flex. The play. Honestly, I would see this being more of a flex than the actual flex pose. Because how many animals do you see doing heads? Uh, handstands. But yeah. The jump. The gallop. You'll see a lot of people just running around doing this. And then there's also the walk. It's a little uh, wonky when they turn. It looks nice. Also, if you're wondering how you walk, you hold down the control button. It's something that I had to uh, learn from other people because I didn't actually know you could do that in the game. Because I just never thought about holding the control button. I knew holding down shift made you run. Didn't think about holding control. At tier 25, officially one fourth of the way through the season pass, you get a thousand likes, part of the free pass. For tier 26, you get the Hot Springs. It's not a mirage. With this personal spring, you can bring the relaxing getaway to your very own home. Now, I find this kind of interesting. Because, like I said earlier with the Sphinx, typically the only time you get a mirage is when you're at the desert. And they're normally of water. And this is kind of a desert look. Really think the next uh, season pass is gonna revolve around the desert. That's just my thoughts. We'll see if that comes true. <laughs> because otherwise, why would there be two items that are kind of desert themed during the season pass that would most likely just be themed around the winter holidays and fall? This is what the hot springs look like. Now, I do want to put in mind that this is the biggest crin that you can have. Turn around. There we go. Uh, ignore the fact that the tail's through the ground. But yeah, even with this crin being so big, this hot springs is still a pretty good size for it. That is just the prettiest thing, just seeing a majestic animal like the crin just relaxing in a hot spring. For tier 27, you have the lavish tassel earrings. Designed to swoosh dramatically with a haughty or a sassy head toss. This is how these earrings appear on all of the creatures. For tier 28, you get the Crin Foul Head. This is what the Foul Head looks like, and if you thought that foul meant, like, bad smelling, that's not what it means in this instance. It means 
essentially a baby horse. It does not change the animations for the legs at all. The only thing that it does is just change the head and the hair type. And like the other head, this one does also flap in the breeze. I am curious, however. Yep, during this ad emote, it also flops down like the other head does. For tier 29, you get the Mugmire common ingredients. Once again, this is not part of the free pass, sadly, but you get 950 and you get 50 of each one. The reason why you get 950 is because there is one more common ingredient in Mugmire Marsh compared to the other two locations. For tier 30, you get the messy treasure trunk. Some say the messier the trunk at the end of a trip, the more fun its owner had. This will also be the exact same model as one of the items that you have to sleep and take a photo next to in uh, Shattered Bay. So if you're running around trying to find it and you don't know what it looks like, this is what the item looks like, so you know in advance. And this is part of the free pass, so those of you who don't want to spend the money, you do get to look forward to having a nice messy trunk to sit around in your house. For tier 31, you get the cringe scalloped ears. This is what the ears look like. As you can see, they're solid color, but if you look closely, there is a inner color right there. For tier 32, you get the rose dye, and you get 10 of them. This is what the die looks like. I almost feel like we've had this die before for one of the season passes, but I could be wrong. For tier 33, you get 2,500 lights. And for tier 34, you get the second big ticket item, which is the Voyager Sanctuary. Enjoy a glorious home to rest in between adventures with the new Voyager Sanctuary. Let's go see what that looks like. This is what the Voyager Sanctuary looks like. It's a nice, decent size, I gotta say. I think it's taller than a lot of the default houses are. You can't quite climb onto the roof, but I'm pretty sure if you had a piece outside, you probably could. It's a cloudy sky, looks like it's gonna be a thunderstorm. The music's nice and epic. You do hear thunder roaring. You got these nice torches. Some nice water. I kind of feel like this water looks better than the castle's water does. Then again, I haven't looked at the castle's water in a while. It might actually be the same water. I don't know. It might have just updated the water texture from the last time I looked. The only thing I'm a bit sad about is that I kind of was expecting the ground to be snow-covered, and it's not... But it's not a big deal. This is the inside. Now I did not increase the size of this building yet. But the music is very nice. So this is what it would look like if you replace the default walls with the Voyager set walls that you could get at a uh, Twigalia shop. But I kind of think I like the original ones more, even though this one does have the cool dragons. I feel like if they were more spread out, I would like this one more, but they're very close together and almost touching. I will increase the size of this room, however, just that so when I place down an item, it's not going to feel extraordinarily cramped like it does currently. For tier 35, you get 15 lockpicks and it is part of the free pass. Tier 36, you get the Vanguard Winter Shawl. 
Checked flannel layered with vibrant velveteen to protect against any chill. This is what the Vanguard Winter Shawl looks like on the creatures. As you see, it is just a little shoulder patch with tassels and whatnot. But it does look really nice. For tier 37, you get the Door Enigma. That Enigma makes the gloomy top hat the perfect hat to wear as the host of a party where nobody shows up. <sighs> this is how the hat looks on all of the creatures. I do have to say, I think this is one of my favorite hats out of all of them. Very, very pretty and, like, just so fancy. For tier 38, you get the Kern Sweet Horn, which looks like this. I like this one, it kind of reminds me of a knife glued to its head. It's got a very nice look to it. For tier 39, you get the Winter Leggings, hand knitted with Lynx wool by a very talented Twiggle. This is how the winter leggings look on all of the creatures. For tier 40, you get 15 more lockpicks. For tier 41, you get the Brody plates. No Brody fan should eat off of any face but his. And this is part of the free pass. These are what they look like, and as you can see, there is more than one in that stack. There is a total of four of them in all. And I love why every season pass has just had at least one Brody themed item. He's not my favorite Kobold, and I know there's people that, like, absolutely hate him. Which I find kind of weird, because I don't hate him, he's just not my favorite, I do find him funny. My favorite, personally, is Luca, and I don't think there's a single Luca piece in any of the season passes so far. Hopefully soon we get a Luca item, I really want one. I don't know why I like Luca so much. I think it's just because he, he's just like, um, I hate everyone, but you're cool. That might be why. I'm, I'm sorry, Brody, I'm stepping. Now my butt's on your face. I am so sorry. <laughs> For tier 42, we have the Kryn Luxuriant Tail. This is what the tail looks like. It is definitely more of a horse-like tail. Especially when you compare them to all the other ones, this is the only one that has pretty much fur all the way down it. For tier 43, you get 5,000 likes, and it is part of the free pass. 
For tier 44, you get the Blood Tundra Cool Ingredients, and you get 360 of them. Here is the list of all the ingredients, and you get 30 of each ingredient. For tier 45, you get the Slate Die, and you do get 10 of them. This is what the die looks like. Now for tier 46, we finally get another item that's not one of the normal you get them every season pass items, and it is a present stack. I did just look up the word frostfete, which I believe is how you pronounce it, and I don't think it's an actual word, so I'm guessing that that is what the next holiday is going to be in Feral, taking place in December. But. Frostfay gifts, neatly wrapped and awaiting their intended recipient. So this tells me that there is definitely a holiday for December, and that's what it's going to be called, I think. This is what the present stack looks on all of the creatures, and to my surprise, it is for the animals. I thought it was an item for your house. For tier 47, you get the Lavish Boa. Bring the red carpet to the halls of your private school. This is how the item appears on all of the creatures, and as you see, there's a cute little bow on the back even. Kinda looks like it's made out of hair though, which is kinda weird, but it's an interesting piece I have to say. For tier 48, we get the kind sprightly legs. Now, normally I don't show this part because I don't like to spoil things for anyone until we get to that point, but if you look for the sprightly legs, currently they are still labeled as name missing, but uh, this is what they look like, despite the fact that they do say name missing. These are one of my favorite pair of legs. Well, actually, I think I like all of them except for one. But these ones are really cute, I think. For tier 49, we get the Thunder Armor. Thrumming with atmospheric scent of rain and power of crackling electricity. This is what the Thunder Armor looks like on all of the creatures. As you can see, it is just shoulder pieces. And now we are officially halfway through the season pass. I'm sorry if it's been long so far, but I did warn you ahead of time that these are typically long videos, but for tier 50, you get the Mystical Snow Sculpture. 
shoulders hunched like a mighty beast taking flight. Now, this is the mystical snow sculpture, and as you see, it does represent a werewolf pretty well. A lot better than how this one represents the unicorns. And I will show this off. Now, I don't have the exact face that this one has, but as you can see, the hunch is pretty much the same, the ears are pretty much the same. Big, wide stance. Well, this one's stance is wider than this one is, but still. Very thick to a very narrow body. The biggest main difference here is the wings. And I kind of feel like we might get a second pair of wings soon. And this might be uh, showing us what the next pair of wings for the werewolf will look like. At least I'm hoping it is, because I don't see any other reason that the werewolf statue would have a pair of wings that look different than the current wings that we have. Now this is all speculation, I know nothing, but that's just my thoughts. I know this is not the exact same, but even how this creature sits is not even how the crin sits. The crin sits like if it was a deer in a forest. At least this is how I imagine every deer sits in the forest with that majestic looking off to the side kind of view. Horses do that too, but you know. And like I said before, none of the uh, crin faces do such a sharp point down. Yes, the ears are about in the right position. The horn is pretty accurate in the right position, but the only horn that's even close to this one is the first horn that was on the crin that I had, and that is a solid horn that swoops forward. You know what? Let me just show you. This is the closest horn that looks like this. Because, like the sweet horn, it's the only other horn that is a sh one pointed horn. But the sweet horn curves and goes forward. They both go in that direction, but the thing is, is that this one is smack dab on the head to where the one on the crin starts way off, and instead of going straight up, it goes swoosh. It makes a very nice swoosh. I really think that this will be will look a lot like the sphinx that we might be getting i hope it is because that would be a nice little easter egg that we find out so hopefully we will get a sphinx this is what i'm hoping for for tier 51 you get another avatar look slot for the crin giving you a total of three look slots for the crin so you can keep three different looks and not have to worry about losing them when you change them for tier 52, you get the snow shades, so that you can look cool while cooling down. This is part of the free pass. This is what the snow shades look like on all of the animals. I think the nicest part about this is that it's one of the glasses that doesn't quite look like glasses and does go over your eyes so you can have like a solid color behind there and then have these over top like if it's things coming out of your eyes. For tier 53, you get the Grin Rearward Horn. This is what the rearward horn looks like, and as the name implies, instead of it going forward, it goes backwards. And also splits into two. For tier 54, you get the Laker Cool Ingredients Bundle, and you get 210. You get 30 of each, and these are all the ingredients that you get. For tier 55, you get 7,500 likes. For tier 56, you get the Ravishing Clothing Set. Just to impress with the Ravishing Clothing Set. 
in this set, you will get these five items. And I will show them off each individually on each creature, and then show them together as a whole set. So, this is the Ravishing Collar. The hat? Ooh, I actually really like how that hat looks. Leg wraps. Tail wrap. And the tote bag. Now let's see them all together. Second verse, same as the first, with the color. The hat. Leg wraps. Tail wrap. Tote bag. And then all together. I feel like for the next ones, I'm just going to show all the items together, seeing how we've already seen them all separately on more than one animal, and none of the items really overlap, so yeah. Just doing this just to hurry it along because it's a good handful of items that I can kind of smash out all at once. I am going to freeze the kitsune for this one, mainly because both the bird head twitches and the tail wagging makes it very hard to look at stuff. For tier 57, you get the Builder Twiggle plush. Just imagine all the adorable things they will build out of plush wood and plush stone. This is what the little guy looks like. He's a nice decent size. It's always nice to have another plush to have. So now there's a total of four plushes in the game. Oh no, he has a little tear! Aw, poor little fellow. He's got a tear on both sides. He's still a cutie, though. For tier 58, you get the Crafty Enigma. So, I do believe for that Enigma, it is Twigalia's hammer. Sturdy, trusty, and unpretentious, just like Twigalia herself. And this is what the hammer will look like on all the creatures. In case if you are unaware, this is, I believe, the exact same model as the hammer that you had to find in the last season pass. Which means that that quest kind of alluded to us getting this item this season pass, which I think is pretty nice. Like I said before, the season passes have a lot of hints of what's to come next. Whether those items be season pass items, or just things to come in the future. For tier 59, you get 10 of the white dye. And once again, this is what the white dye looks like. For tier 60, we get the icy furniture set. Ice out your sanctuary with the icy furniture set. For this set, you get 10 total items, part of the icy furniture set. And these are all the items you will acquire. 
The items you get for this set is the Ice Chandelier, the Ice Chaise Lounge, the Ice Window with drapes, the Ice Bed, Ice Rug, Ice Table, Ice Window, Ice Chair, Ice Torch Lamp, and lastly the Coat Rack. Which oddly does not have the word ice in it, so I'm gonna have to remember that when I go and search for these items. So these are all the items in the whole set. I think one of the most interesting things is that the bed has animation to it, which looks really nice. It's got like a nice shiny look to it, so... Sadly, I didn't notice any of the other items having that same look. This is what the late, uh, chandelier looks like while it's on, which looks pretty nice. This torch does not light up though, sadly. Here's the table. Sadly, there's no shine to it, like the rug has. The window has shine to it, though. Just a nice little window. The other window does not have shine, and I almost feel like the reason for that is because there is curtains on it, and I think when the item shine, it's the whole item that shines, not just one part of it. And then the coat rack. Which I really like this coat rack. You could paint it like an off gray color or like a black color. It would look pretty awesome as like some evil fortress kind of coat rack. For tier 61, you get a second look slot for your Voyager Sanctuary look slots. For tier 62, you get Mugmire Cool Ingredients. You get 240 of them. This is the list of all the things that you will get. For tier 63, we get the Lavish Bangles. Solid gold, expensively understated, just blingy enough. This is what they look like on all of the creatures. And I have to agree with the description. It's a very nice solid color gold thing. It's definitely not too flashy, but it's got a nice look to it. One nice thing about this piece is that it is the last piece of the lavish set. So this is what the whole set will look like together on all of the animals. For tier 64, you get the Crim Plume Tail. It is very similar to the first tail, but it is very different also. It does have a lot more of a feathery look, where the other one kind of had like a, I guess you would say like a palm tree look to it. For tier 65, you get a fancy gift cover. Just in case your friends didn't already know that your very presence in their life is the greatest gift of all. This is part of the free pass, so you get a cute little goofy present topper to put on your animals. This is what it looks like on all your creatures, and it is an adorable little hat. Thank you. 
It's inside of his mouth. It looks like he's been biting onto it to hold on. That's kind of funny. For tier 66, you get 15 lockpicks. For tier 67, you get the Tempest Pauldrons. Harness the storm outside for protection and the storm within to prevail in battle. This is how they look on all the creatures. I do hope in the next season pass they expand on this set. Because it's a really cool, swirly set. And I can see people changing the colors of this to have all sorts of things. Like, I imagine you could even use this for, like, fire. Now, let's see if uh, we can mess with these colors a bit. That looks really cool. So you can have all sorts of fun with this one. And yeah, you can pretty much make it look like flames. Or liquid gold. Let's see if I can... Ooh. Yeah, this is gonna be one of the funner items to play with, because you can really make it look however you want it to. For tier 68, you get the String Enigma. You get the Valkyrie guitar from this Enigma. An iconic piece of Valkyrie craftsmanship, whose design has been passed down for generations. So, this is what it looks like on all of your creatures. For tier 69, you get the Crin Attentive Ears. I like these ears in particular with this head because it definitely gives the Crin more of a donkey look. So if you wanted a donkey, there you go. For tier 70, you get the Blood Tundra Rare Ingredients, and you get 120 of these. And it is surprisingly part of the free pass, so if you're really hurting on those rare ingredients from Blood Tundra, Here's your chance. These are all the ingredients from the Blood Tundra. For tier 71, you get the Frozen Pond. Ideal for ice skating, ice dancing, and ice flopping. As you can see, the Frozen Pond is a very large item. And it has a nice little dock that you can stand on. Some rocks. It's completely snow covered. It's a shame that none of the enclosures currently have snow in them, because any snow item that we end up getting like this ends up looking very out of place in an area that has literally no snow. For tier 72, you get black dye and you get 10 of them total. This is how this color appears on items. For tier 73, we have the Crin Sovereign Head. This is what the Sovereign Head looks like. It is one of my favorite heads out of all of them, for the sheer fact that it's got like this hair here that actually makes it that it only has one eye. Also, it's one of the only head out of the four that changes the leg shape, or uh, the leg animations, I should say. Sadly though, even though the hair for this one is very pretty, it does not flow in the wind like the other two. For tier 74, you get the Ushanka. Not only is this hat incredibly soft and cozy to wear, but your friends will get a warm and fuzzy feeling just looking at it. This is what the hat looks like on all of the creatures. For 
for tier 75, which is officially three-fourths of the way through the season pass. We have the night clothing set. Lead the charge with the night clothing set. There is a total of five different items in the night clothing set. You get the night sword, night chestplate, night tail shield, night visor, and lastly, the night leg armor. So, this is the night chestplate. The night leg armor. The night sword. Night tail shield. And then the uh, night visor, which doesn't seem to be located quite in the right spot for the dragon. Unless if it's supposed to be on the chest area, it looks kind of weird. It looks like it's supposed to be glasses. We'll see if it is uh, fixed for the other creatures. But till then, this is what all the items look like together. There's the night chest plate. And the night leggings. The night sword, which is very big in the jackalope. Night tail shield, there it is. And lastly, the night visor, which still... Yeah, I think it's safe to say the night visor is a bit broken. I do feel like once it's fixed, however, it's going to be a very nice piece for you to wear. But till then, we have this broken floaty pieces that are supposed to be stuck to the face. The night chest plate. Night leg armor. This is one problem that I've noticed with this head in particular. With the uh, leg elevated, sometimes it does have clipping problems with some of the uh, leg pieces. The Night Sword. Night Tail Shield. And lastly, the visors, which I only see one in existence. Oh no, wait, the other one's in the leg. <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, they're, they're kind of really broken. For the rest of the creatures, I'm just going to slap all the items on and let them be in their uh, glorious brokenness. For tier 76, you get the original Twiggle plush. The most helpful thing this little guy can do is let you squeeze him nice and tight. This is what this little guy looks like. He's nice and happy. Like the other one, he's got two little tears on the sides. So that's sad, but at least he's happy. For tier 77, you get the Grin Genteel Legs. So these are the Genteel Legs and I do believe these are all the pieces to this look, but I am not a big fan of these legs. I just think it's because they're too skinny, because I actually have the thickness up all the way on the legs, and they are just super scrawny. Like, this is what they look like with the uh, thickness down all the way. For tier 78, you get the Rhythm Enigma. This is, surprisingly, a free Season Pass item. So that means that you can make this if you want to, even if you don't want to pay money for it. You just gotta earn your way up to it. And that Enigma makes the Valkyrie Drums. These drums are extra portable by design to accommodate the adventurous and often nomadic life of many Valkyrie. So this is what the drum looks like on the creatures, and I did simply just search it up by searching the word drum to make it easier on myself.
Now, something I did notice is that there is two items classified as Valkyrie. So you have both the drum and the guitar, but they can't be worn together, which is pretty sad. I wish the one was on the one side and the other was on the other side, so you could look like a true musician and just carry every instrument you possibly could with you. For tier 79, you get the Lakeroot Rare Ingredients. You get 140 of these. So you get 20 of each, and these are all the ingredients that you will get. For tier 80, you get the Chilled Necktie. Stay cool under pressure with this professional classy look. This is what it looks like on all the creatures, and I'll tell you ahead of time, there is no set to this tie. It's just a tie on its own. For tier 81, you get the Kryn Terse Tail. So, this is what the Kryn Terse Tail looks like. It's a little stubby tail, but I think it's quite cute. For tier 82, you get the Special Delivery Bag. Spread joy all season long with this surprisingly roomy satchel. And it is part of the free pass! So you get this cute little bag to uh, decorate your creatures with. This is what it looks like on your creatures, and as you can see, it's got a little belt piece with some presents inside. For tier 83, you get the cozy furniture set. Feel safe and sound with the cozy furniture set. For the cozy furniture set, you get 11 total pieces and you get the cozy dining table, cozy dining chair, cozy hearth, cozy shelves, cozy ottoman, cozy zisu chair, cozy rug, cozy winter window, cozy lantern, cozy clothes rack, and then lastly, the cozy pile of bedding. So, this is the full cozy set. And this is the shelf. The chair. I really like the chair. Those antlers are nice. The table, which it does have a nice shine to it. The fireplace. I'm curious if we can change the color of that fire. The lantern. You cannot turn it on, but it also has a fire inside, so we'll have to see if we can change that color. And there's the window, the shelf, got some more antlers there, the rug, which I did bring out, the uh, rug from the Voyager set, and they are clearly two different rugs if you are worried about that. They're not even close alike. This looks like it's a rug from a small sheep, where this is like, I would imagine this was a polar bear at one point. So they're two completely different kinds of rugs. And. Obviously, one is massive compared to the other. And there is the bedding pile. Oh, there's a little pillow there! Oh, well, that's cute! Then there is the uh, chair that I could not figure out how to say. No, wait, that's the ottoman. This is the chair I couldn't figure out how to say. Oh, it's a little cushion! It's so cute! Yep, that's the whole set. For tier 84, you get the Twiggle Flame. Some say the Twiggle's qu quintessential flame is powered by the magic of pure goodness. Or the sugar they eat. Now, as you can see here, the Twiggle Flame is a 3D model that is two different colors. 
and has two extra little flames off to the side. This is not what the item actually looks like. So, as you can see here, this is what the twinkle flame looks like in this picture, but watch as it goes on the animal. As you can see, they look nothing alike. This is clearly a 2D image that was that is given the uh, fire effect. And as you can see, as you drag your character around, or as they walk around, the flame follows them perfectly. And in case if you were wondering, you can in fact change the color of this. There is only one color to pick from, the center will stay that white color. And pretty much just change to whatever color you want the flame to be. That is a very pretty flame color. For tier 85, you get the Crane Unyielding Legs. This is what the Unyielding Legs look like, and they are one of my favorite legs out of the bunch. And as you can see, they have these hooked feet, like, I forget what the technical name for a split hoof is for animals. Because there is a name that defines whether an animal has a split hoof or a whole hoof like most horses have. But you could definitely use these for like a goat or deer legs. For tier 86, you get the Snuffed Snowball. An adorable, festive, and reasonable way to bring a snowball indoors, complete with an Ogasa-style hat. And this little guy is also part of the free pass. And if you are wondering what the Lonely Snowbolt looks like, this is the same model as the Lonely Snowbolt that's in the cave in Blood Tundra that's in like the uh, kind of hard to see where you're going area. This is what the little guy looks like. He is a little cutie, of course. Honestly, I think this is my favorite snowbolt out of all of the snowbolts, and it's nice that it's part of the free pass, because look at him! He just kind of reminds me of the snowmen you make as kids in school, where you just get a really old sock and you fill it with beans, and then you decorate it like it's a snowman. I kind of want to make one of these little guys as an actual plushie, they're so cute. For tier 87, you get the Banquet Scarf. Many species have some sort of traditional banquet during the winter months. This scarf will look sharp at all of them. This is the Banquet Scarf on all the creatures. For tier 88, you get the Baby Enigma, and that Enigma will give you this adorable little bundle of joy, which is the Kitsune Jr. There's nothing better than a little bundle of joy, as long as you don't interrupt its nap. I did not try to say bundle of joy, and then I, I literally just said bundle of joy, I didn't read this beforehand. But yes, it's a little cutie, isn't it? Oh, I love it so much. This is what it will look like on all the creatures. I do have to say, this little guy on the crin specifically looks almost like a full-size kitsune.
Now, I do want to see what it would look like with an actual kitsune head. And oh my gosh, that's so cute. I feel like at that point it's like, look at that proud mother with the little baby. I feel like in this spot also, it kind of looks like it's the, uh, either the werewolf's baby or the werewolf is kidnapping it and planning on eating it later. For my werewolf, it looks like it's gonna eat it later. But I imagine other people's- well, I don't imagine, I know other people's werewolves are a lot cuter than mine. Mine is Halloween themed, obviously. For tier 89, we have the Shy Gnome. The big bad world can be quite intimidating for small shy gnome. He can't be expected to fend for himself alone in a garden. Wait, is that a clothing item? Oh god, that's worse. Oh, it's so much worse. <gasps> so, um... I'm gonna be honest. I don't like this item. I didn't even realize it was a wearable item. I thought it was just a house item. But, apparently you can wear it. Oh, he just holds on to your arm. I don't- I don't like his hands. His hands scare me. <laughs> I don't hate gnomes. It's just, this gnome's hands weird me out. And I don't like them. And I feel like if his hands were just like- cute little round balls, I would be perfectly fine. And I'd be like, oh, look at this little buddy. But no, his hands are creepy. I'm not a big fan of him. But you know, we're all entitled to our own opinion. Even if this guy creeps me out. But you know what? He's an original model. He is definitely an original model. And no one else looks quite like him. For tier 90, you get the Crim Baleful Ears. This is what the ears look like. I think they're really cute little fluffy ears. For tier 91, you get the Mugmire Rare Ingredients, and you get 120 of them. These are the items that you will be getting. For tier 92, you get the Twiggle Fence. Should we tell the Twiggles this won't protect from any creature larger than a spider beetle? Nah, let them enjoy it. So, this is the Twiggle Fence. You could also use it as one of those, uh, little fences that horses gallop over top of- Gallop over top of? No, they jump over them. I don't think there's a fancy way to say jump when it comes to a horse, I'm not sure. For tier 93, you get the Twiggle Hut. As cute as it is on the outside, can you even imagine how cute it is on the inside? So, this is the Twiggle Hut. It's a pretty decent size, and this is about the same size that they are in the game. Or, not in the game, but out in the Expanse. There is three different ones of these that you can find at the Expanse, so... If you don't know what they look like, they look like this gourd. For tier 94, you get the Kryn Infernal Horns. This is what the horns look like, and it is the second to last mod that you will get for your crit. For tier 95, you get the Enchanted Wish Scroll. Some still use this ancient technique of writing out wishes on ancient scrolls in hopes that powerful old spirits receive them. This is part of the free pass, so this is definitely something you should look forward to if you don't feel like actually paying for the season pass. This is what it will look like on your creatures.
For tier 96, you get the Cloudburster clothing set. Storm the skies with the Cloudburster clothing set. For this set, you get five total items, and they are the Cloudburster pauldrons, Cloudburster helmet, Cloudburster bracers, and then the Cloudburster medallion, and lastly, the Cloudburster tail armor. So, this is what the bracers will look like. The helmet, it is very tiny. The medallion. The pauldrons. And then lastly, the tail armor. I'm just going to go and add every single item to all of the creatures because, let's face it, they don't overlap or anything. For tier 97, you get the Twiggle Gate. Just imagine tiny guests going through these tiny gates for a tiny game night where they have tiny fights over the tiny winner. So this is the tiny gate. I also put the uh, tiny fence with it too. And then of course the uh, Twiggle Hut since they are all part of the Twiggle set. And as you can see, I really wish there was more than one fence piece, especially for the sheer fact that when you go and find the Twiggle Huts out in the Expanse, they have this little gate and this little fence, but the fence is all the way around and there is just one gate piece. But I wish that we could recreate that, or simply that this had the gate already around it. That's just what I wish. For tier 98, we get the last piece for the free season pass, and it is the Winter Forest Witch Hat. Forest witches enjoy the natural energy of the woods, no matter the weather. This is what the hat looks like on all the creatures. I do have to say this is one of my favorite hat models, but it does sit a little funky on some of the animals. For the second to last item in the entire season pass, you will get the Kryn Ominous Head, which is the very last item for the Kryn. So this is the very last head that you will get for the Kryn, and as you can see, it is a goat head. I like this head, but I do find a lot of people making the overall skin color for the Kryn black, because I'm pretty sure when you do it, it gets rid of this, uh, dark unibrow-esque line, which I don't enjoy that very much. Let's actually test that theory. Yeah. This looks a lot better with that line being gone, but I still feel like the eyes are too far down. I would bring the eyes like right up here if I could move them, but you can't move the eyes, so if you make eyes for it, I suggest uh, putting them up a bit higher. They do look fine where they are, but it also just kind of feels weird because their eyes feel like they're resting like right on the cheek. 
Which I guess that is kind of how eyes are on humans, at least, but I don't know. And finally, for tier 100, we get Brody's old headband. Bro. You and Brody must be best bros for him to bro-stow this upon you. So, this is how Brody's old headband will look on all the creatures. I do have to say, it is no, uh, renegade horn, but... I do love it for the sheer fact of the memes. It's also not a very bad headband model, which is pretty nice. I do feel like the Twiggle Flame should be in the uh, 100 spot, but I still understand their take. For making Brody's uh, headband, the very last item that you get, because come on, it's Brody's headband. Most people are simply obsessed with Brody, so having that as the tier 100 item probably made some people extraordinarily happy. So, that is the very last item in the uh, third season pass for Feral. This is going on from November t through December. It came later than I expected it to, seeing how the last season pass didn't end till like three days after it said it would end, and then... This season pass didn't happen till almost the end of the day for me, and I honestly had no clue that the season pass was happening till after I had went on the Feral Discord and was just going through the art because I like to just stare at people's art. You guys make some fantastic art. If you guys made it this far in the video, I do thank you for watching. I hope it actually did help you. Decide if you do want to spend the money on the Season Pass, or if you don't. I like the Season Pass a lot more than the last one. And the last one made me angry three times. Actually, technically four, because the Ice Mantle was the last item, and like... You never see anyone wear the Ice Mantle. <laughs> I'd much rather the final item be a meme item than the Ice Mantle. And I understand why they don't want one of the best items to be the last item, because it pressures people into getting it done, just so they can get that item. But I do like that they used something like Brody's headband, which is a very simplistic item. If you don't get it, it's not a big deal. But it's a good meme item, so people still want it. It's just, they're not going to be biting at the bit to get it, so if they don't get the season pass done right away, it's not a big deal. If they join late, because there's people that still buy the season pass when there's like one day left, and they didn't do any of it because they just joined the game, and I'm just like, oh, why did you do that? That's terrible. You're never going to get all the items, but I'll help you as much as I can. <laughs> I feel really bad for people that do that because they don't realize that when it ends, it ends. But like, that's kind of how every season pass works in every video game. Video game season passes aren't you buy it and then you have a month to get it done, it's you can buy it whenever, but it has a set date that is written in stone-ish that it is expiring. And I say ish because with last season pass, it was extended by like two or three days, I forget exactly. And this game's not the only game to have done that. Fortnite did that because the coronavirus was a thing and they postponed Fortnite like 20 times because of it. But yeah, I hope this video was informative. I hope you enjoyed it. I thank you guys a lot for watching, it means a lot to me. And I really do hope, I know this is like the fifth time I've said this, but I do hope this has helped you on deciding whether or not to buy the season pass. This one, in particular, is, I would have to say it's as good as the first season pass. Which is really saying something, because the first one was simply, like, fantastic. The second season pass, compared to these two, was literal garbage. <laughs> Which is sad, because there's a lot of really good items from the second one. But I would have to rate the season passes as the first one is the best, the third one is the second best, and then the second one is the worst. So far. We still have next season pass to go through. But 
I have two months till I have to worry about that. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Now I've said this 20 times already because I have tried to end this video like 20 times and then thought about other things to talk about and then did not end the video. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I hope you all have a good time. Bye bye Oh. Gabe's telling me I'm taking too long talking. This is the second time it's done it to me. <laughs> oh! Forget what the item was called. I forget what the item was called. Dooby dooby doo. I'm a dum 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 head. Dooby dooby doo doop doop. Don't judge me for what I'm doing. I'm not leaving this in here. Dooby dooby doo boop 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 boop. I am a dum dum head. I forget what it's called again. Vanguard. I didn't type anything. Thank you.